Okay, um, this is a tutorial about how to get how to restore the old disk utility in OS 10 El Capitan, which happens to be that um, it's hard to gain it back. I mean, in El Capitan, they eliminated some of the features that are not in the new disk utility. So I'm going to show you a workaround and I have to say thanks to Justice Berlin for this hack. And the way, and it's an easy way to do it. Just I'll put the, the description of the link of his hack, but it's very easy. What you got to do is you got to come into this. What you got to do is, well, what I did was I created a, um, I downloaded the OS 10 Yosemite and what I did was after I downloaded OS 10 Yosemite from the um, App Store what I did was I opened utilities and then I went here opened the package and went to Mac OS 10 and then took this and put it in the desktop. Then I downloaded from Justice Berlin a hex, the hex fiend, whatever it is, which you go here and you download it. After you've done that and you download it, you open this. And then you open up the disk utility patch that you put into the desktop. Then you have to find this line, this number of line, 25056. And you go into the hex fan and you just scroll down and find it, which is available right in this spot we're getting there close once you get to 250 256 right here this is the line right here and what you got to do is change this to 84. You delete it and just put 84. You save it and then you reimburse it back into this utility. place then what you want to do is take this disk utility drag it in this I don't need no more and as you can see I am under El Capitan 10 1 10 11 point one and here's the disk utility that I just put on my desktop. And double click. And bingo. It works. Now you guys can do your raid, configuration, mirror raid, strip raid, whatever. And I have to thank you. I mean, even though all the other stuff is completely, you know, gone but now you can do your raids here that's about it you can say you can't replace the this utility from OS 10 El Capitan you have to save this pat this this utility in a separate folder or maybe in a in a, what you would call it uh, 
an external hard drive. Take care. I'll put the description of the page underneath here and so you guys can download the hex fan and everything. And have a good one. Take care. Bye.